the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Just nothing more than meets the eye. from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. <gasps> Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. holds fast. A newborn? Born new from this husk? You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. My head. What is this? Skvar, you are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. We carry Mind Flayer parasites. Unless we escape. Unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Gaeth, Mind Flayers. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! It could even transform the occupant of the pod, like what happened before. You 
you feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. each other's backs along the way. Shadowheart. One moment. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank.
As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. We're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. No. I don't recognize this place, but anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved. Until you see the flash of a dagger. I just need information. I saw you scuttling about on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <sighs> what was that? What's going on? I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during... whatever just happened. And to think... 
I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. My, my, you've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And anyone that can crash a Mind Flayer ship and walk away Seems like a good person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! running for our lives you led them straight to us and you let them take the druid too unbelievable and who the hell are you again show some respect this woman saved your pathetic life well I didn't ask for any goddamn help Please, you are begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Goblins have found us. No doubt the beasts will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately! One. First I damn near die at the hands of goblins. Then I get sucker punched by a bloody half-breed. I'm done with this hellhole. Those two must have history. You acted quickly. I'm just sorry I didn't get there first. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. 
Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Really? We're messengers now? We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Well, this seems like a lovely little spot. The sense of impending doom aside. Darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Well, you know where to find me. Our futures! Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Afraid. Chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Here it comes, you little beast. Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> Not bad. Again. to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers, racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. 
But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. I'm no stranger to the infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mindflayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I like your thinking. Besides, I watched you fight at the gate. I could use an ally like you. Ready when you are. Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> the Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. Say for a moment that I was. Do you think your blunt approach would get me to confess? A shame you feel that way. Just don't expect me to entertain your questions if you won't respect my privacy. Grin, give her a chance. You, get back! Kick back! Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You! Apparently Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins were of rare, gem-colored hue and wielded magic 
blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated.